This statement reads that for all x contained in set S, x greater than zero implies that there exists a y contained in the set x S such that y squared equals x. And we need to find the negation of that entire statement. Just looking at the implied, if we have A implies B, that's the same thing as if A then B, and the negation of that is A and B not be we'll be using that in a minute so let's have a look at this negation first the negation of all x is there exists an x so there exists an x contained in x s such that it is not true that x greater than zero implies there exists a y contained in s such that y squared equals x now we need to deal with this negation here okay well, we already said that the negation of a implies b is a and not b so we have there exists an s x contained in s such that x is greater than zero and not there exists a y contained in s such that y squared equals x. And now all we need to do is deal with this negation. The negation of there exists is for all. So we have there exists x contained in s such that x is greater than zero and for all y contained in s it is not y squared equals x and not y squared equals x is simply y squared is not x so we have there exists x contained in s such that x is greater than zero and for all y contained in s y squared is not equal to x which is answer b